it's a it's something I think the guts are fighting down there in the shed. It is a cold, cold one this morning. I know you people up in like Chicago and stuff last week are like, oh, you don't even know what cold is. This guy right here. He was icy this morning. He loves it. He absolutely loves it. So I'm showing here. Looks like it's 19 degrees. Kind of barometric pressure's over at 30, looking like it's heading towards fair. And humidity is is about 74. <sighs> Alright guys, well I got a little sweat on me. Just finished up my DDPY for the day. Haven't even put my yoga mat up yet. I'm... <sighs> that was a workout. Alright. So, just before the workout started, or before I started the workout, I, this came in the mail. FedEx showed up at the house. And I told you yesterday when I was working on the vacuum that hopefully the parts would show up today for the dryer. Got here in less than 24 hours. Uh, dryer kit. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Yeah, for a Taiwan made knife, this thing has been very dependable. See that? Alright. Looks like we got directions. Let me those. Okay, those aren't bearings, so these are the four roller wheels for the drum. belt. See there's a grooved side and a non-grooved side. Grooved side always goes towards the drum. Non-grooved side always goes toward the pulley. Now I did read online yesterday that this little booger here is going to be a little bit bigger than what I take off. But that's okay and I've got my Thrust bearing there, or washer, I guess, thrust washer. It's going to fit between that and the mechanism, and then all these handy dandy little triangles. Well, they go on one each on each side of the drum roller, and then one will go to hold the pulley on. So, I've got. A little bit before I have to go pick up kids at the school, so let's dig in and see what we can find. All right, first and foremost, make sure it's unplugged. And all these come apart a little bit differently. Well, I gave up on disconnecting it, so I just lifted it up. Okay, I got that off. That's just the front plate. Now, what did I say yesterday? Most of the time, your biggest problems. Oh, that's confusing. Or with dirt. You got all that in there. See that? It goes all the way over. Now we bought this used, but still, I probably should have taken it apart and cleaned it first, but you know what they say. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I got two springs here. Disconnect those. Those are the assists for the door. 
go ahead and pull that out. Hmm, those really help a lot. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing here. See what we got in our fill kit. Now this is just one of those cheap Walmart toolkits that we got Isaac for his birthday or Christmas or something or other. I'll tell you what, if you're just if you're not like a serious mechanic or anything. You don't need good, super good quality tools. Man, you can't beat this thing. I use it for almost all the home repairs that I do. That way I don't have to drag my good tools out of my shop and risk losing them. And plus it appears these bits are magnetic. Or the net driver is one. Alright. I'm going to sit you guys down up here. Let me lucky this thing will just pull off. Oh. There we go. Now let's see if we can set it. news nonetheless. Ooh, look at that lint trap. That's nasty. Everything in this is nasty. So, it's time to go get kids. So we'll resume this video when I return. Well, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Well, thank God that plunger didn't come up. Oh, yeah, I would, I would say that's broke. Alright, right, what I was just doing was reaching in and pulling the what? belt off the idler pulley. So I got that slack up now. Get that loose so I can get the drum out. There we go. Now we'll hold the belt up, lift that drum up, and it slides out just like that. Broken record, I'm sure. But again, that's a crappy light. How about that one? Anyway, look how dirty all that is. Even the motor is just filthy. And that's what's powering this thing. And there's a problem right there. See that orange? See that clip right here? that was laying down there that's what holds on that see how it's it was off it was hanging halfway off there 
and that's where our noise was coming from and it's all scrap it's all kind of ground up I don't know if you can tell so it's ground down that's why it was causing that major squeaking noise man everything is dirty on this kind of been if it ain't broke don't fix it situation here see that coil up in there pretty dirty but I'm having trouble getting you guys in there but that coil looks really brittle so I'm not going to touch that I'm just going to leave it all this of course I've been doing some cleaning on this in here it looks a lot better but all that's a potential fire hazard I mean we have a coil here that heats up and produces heat that blows in through there into the drum and that's what makes the clothes get dry and if there's lint and stuff down in here I mean you're talking flammable material inside of something that gets really hot which is that but it looks like it's just in the front here so I'm not gonna mess with that because if I break that coil we're out of a dryer and I don't I don't want to mess with getting another one right now so I got a smoke detector right above the dryer, so we'll see. I'm going to try to show you guys how to do one of these, and then you just have to do it three more times. Just take a flat blade screwdriver and pry that plastic one off, and then there's one in the back here that needs to come off. That's off of there, so now, all right, now to put the new one back on. So we get that back one on there straight. Get it set in the groove. Put our new wheel on. And then put our second triangle on. That definitely spins better. So alright. Now I just got three more of those to go. But before I do that, I'm gonna put this puppy right here goes on this shaft right here which is the, where the idler pulley goes. Now that little ring there, the washer, its sole job is to keep the metal from this pulley from touching the inside of that right there. Oh that sounds way better. I said that sounds way better. Let me just snap a triangle on that. And so now that's the idler pulley right there. So that, that spring puts the tension on the belt. That's what I'm reaching in there and grabbing through the drum. And then oh, here's your drive motor. Right here. So now I'm just going to replace the rest of those uh, drum rollers. And I'll be putting it back together. See you guys in a minute. Alright, so when I decided... That was pretty sure it was just the pulley in question. That was the problem, and I was right. That was the problem. Um, I showed you guys how it was halfway hanging off, and that's not good. Well, I had a thought, you know, and I texted Amanda and asked her, you know, what do you think? Should I just get the whole rebuild kit, which comes with the four drum rollers, the either pulley, and a belt? Uh, that's pretty much anything that can go wrong besides the motor or the element. And she said, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Because it's only $10 more than the pulley. The pulley was like $25. The complete rebuild kit was $35. So I was like, yeah, just get the whole rebuild kit. Well, I'm glad I did. And I'll show you why. Because that right there is the belt that came off of it. That puppy was on its way to snapping. It had already been breached in that spot. And who knows 
maybe have been another week, a month, might be a year. But anytime you have to take apart a dryer is inconvenient, so I'm glad I got the new belt and everything when I did. Alright, so now it goes back together the way it came apart. I remember, see this flat part? Versus the ribbed part? Remember, rib goes against the drum, flat goes against the pulley. Plus, this will help you lift it even right. Hopefully, one of those back rollers. You can't see them through there. Now, around the pulley. Make sure that belt lines up. Now you're looking down in there. See, make sure see that either pulley rolling. Let's go over to the belt, to the motor. Alright, you can back back out now. Dad, they can see the snow coming in. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. No, anything what we're doing is we're filming. That's the other thing I say. <laughs> the actual saying is anything worth doing is worth doing right. So we'll see you when I get that back on. So I forgot to plug in one wire. So I'm going to have to take the top back off. I don't think I showed you guys how I got the top off. You take four screws out of the back on this one, then we just lift it, slide it forward, and fold it up. Bump down that just all that just for that one wire. So now I'm take it forward and slide it back into place. Now I just gotta screw it back down. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.